Thank you, boys and girls. Uh, my name's Luke Shuey. I'm, uh, I'm playing at the West Coast Eagles at the moment. I'm going into my 10th season and I've been playing footy ever since I could walk, pretty much. I've been kicking a footy since I was about two years old and uh, I'm now lucky enough to be doing what I love uh, for a job. We've been able to go to some beautiful places over the last couple of years. Jero last year and down south in um, Dunsborough this year in Busso, so we're lucky to see some beautiful parts of, the, of uh, Western Australia and obviously it's always great to get out and help where we can in the community. For anyone who's wondering, uh, I'm one centimetre taller than Nick Nat, so I get asked that question a lot and I reckon his dreadlocks might give him a few extra centimetres but I've still got him by a centimetre. Yeah, getting out to the country is an amazing feeling for me, um, growing up in quite a remote town in country South Australia. I um, really enjoy coming out here and um, talking to kids about you know, the importance of living a healthy lifestyle and um, you know, hard work ethic. Yeah, it's very important. I still remember um, Adam Selwood coming to uh, Newton Moore Senior High School and I was, uh, I was still in high school and I was so excited. Um, and now that I'm one of the guys that's coming to the schools and all that um, still brings a smile, excitement and just shows how much uh, fans we have in, in WA and how much they uh, look up to us, we're role models and we just want to give back to them. So my name is, is Sam, I just got a question, who barracks for West Coast? Who barracks for Fremantle? So you guys go run laps when you get out and you get to see the influence that the players have uh, from an outsider, it's really good to be able to give something back to the community that at the end of the day they're the ones that come to our game and, and give us the atmosphere and, uh, and make the game what it is, so it's good to be able to give them something back. I enjoyed it because um, they got to give us a lot of good feedback and we got to get signatures from famous people, so bonus! <laughs> it was really good meeting the Eagles because they're my heroes and they're the best team ever. Alright, so uh, also it's your first community camp, uh, what's your thoughts so far? Yeah, loving it. Great to, to get out and see all the fans who um, might not have the chance to get up to the new stadium to watch us play and train, so it's great to get around all the kids. I have Tommy Barras and Cal England. So we, um, Cal England's a first year rookie and we've, uh, we've made him do the majority of the talking at the primary schools, which is what we have to do as young kids, so earn your stripes and carry the workload for us. But I want you to understand the importance of fundamentals in footy. So keep helping each other get better. It's so important. One jolt! Yeah. Not often AFL clubs get down to help, and it's not just that, it's just enthusiasm and the excitement that they show and the look in their eyes. Um, I asked them whether they want to be coached you know, like an AFL to side, and they all said yes, and you do it, and they, some get scared, some take it on, and, and um, some really enjoy the moment. So just, just that is exciting enough for me. In the southwest, it's just growing uh, at, at so quick. We've gone from you know, no female uh, open women's teams to you know a full six and even eight teams, so it's, it's really exciting. Down here, just going to see the kids, um, not all the time they can go away or come up and watch, watch us train or watch us play, so be able to come down and have a chat to them um, and they can just see that you're just normal people and uh, passing on some experiences and putting a smile, that, that's pretty much what it's about and that's for the kids and the whole community in general. Now, I understand now like a lot of the stuff's done met metro and city but being able to come out in the country, as I touched on before, not everyone can do that from the country, come to the city, or vice versa. So whenever we get time, um, there's a few players that always try to go into the, in, into the country or uh, more remote areas and always say good day and have a chat and, and do some things. But every time we come into the community, especially the country, I think it's always a great thing.